So, it's not an easy car to drive, but is it now an easier car to live with? To find out, I have assembled a group of guys uh, from this factory, which is next to our track. I will offer 20 quid to the first one of you that can get to that car, get in it, start the engine, and get out in under a minute. These are the keys. Your time starts now. It's already open, so don't worry about that. You just get in. Come on, man. Ah. He's good. He's very good. It only took him 10 seconds to get in. 30 seconds has gone. Three, two, one. Total failure. Right, if you want to step out. Come on, Joe, out the car. If you could just get out, Joe, we've got the others to try and do, mate, and it's snowing. I'll have to let you out. Now, there you go. I'm impressed. Oh, oh dear, no. Sorry, your time is up. So if you'd like to step out now, please. You'll not get through there, love. 25 seconds has now gone. He's, no, he's turned on the radio. He's gone for the damn radio. Come on, we've got, we got some more to go through. Oh, God, another one can't get out. So if you're a car thief watching this, see one of these on the side of the street, forget it. That's the horn. This is the worst yet. Fastest in and then 53 seconds of just sitting there. This is Mark. He's the boss of the factory. He's worked his way into that position using intelligence and cunning. And he's closed the door, which, of course, is a mistake. Five seconds, Mark. Come on, you're the boss, man. You should be able to start a car. And your time is up! Oh. Come on, Mark, we've actually got quite a, lot, uh, quite a lot more filming to do. So there's the answer. No, it's not an easy car to live with. And now, of course, it no longer has the market to itself. So which is best? The technical, exquisite, ice-cool Weissman? Or the mad, hairy-chested TVR? The dentist drill? Or the pile driver? Well, in terms of outright speed, the German car is all out of ideas at 158. Whereas the Russian car can do 180. Then there's the price. The Weissman is £60,000, whereas the TVR is £39,000. So the TVR is faster, a lot more powerful and much cheaper. Sounds like a walkover, but it's not that simple. You see, my wife loves this car. She loves the noise and the vibrations and the sense of danger and the way that when you over-rev it, the whole dash lights up like a baboon's backside. Richard Hammond, on the other hand, he pretty much hates it. He says it's too difficult and too complicated and that all the stitching in here looks like the kind of stitching you find when someone's tried to mend their own shoes. It's a Marmite car, then. If you love it, nothing else will do. Nothing else offers you anything like the thrill. But if you hate it, don't worry, because there is an alternative. <laughs> Lovely pictures. Yeah, beautiful. Every single weather in one day. The whole lot. Yeah. Now, big question, why do you hate TVR so much? Why do I hate TVR? Well, look, because, for one thing, they're all made of plastic and fibreglass, so they smell like canoe factories. You've got bits of glue hanging off them all, all the place. All the rubber trim falls off. On some of them, if you open the side windows, the back window blows out! The thing you've got to remember, they are a lot better than they used to be. I actually had one of these. In fact, I think it was that one on test. Yeah. And it wouldn't start. Wouldn't start or you couldn't start no, it? No, 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 no. I'd had the lesson, read the books, seen the video, all of that. I knew how to start it, but it broke down. You see, no. all of that is why I would rather have the Weissman. I would. £21,000 more. Yes, I know. It's a lot more money, but still, I, I would rather have that. And you know what? I'm with you. Yes. So would I. So would I. But, of course, we do have the important test to do now. We must hand them both over to our tame racing driver. Some say that he appears on high-value stamps in Sweden and that he can catch fish with his tongue. We know him only as the Stig. 
So, TV are first, and away goes! 350 angry Russian horses kicking off the line. Coming up to the first corner, this is going to be a wild ride for the Steg, and already you can see him fighting to keep the Tuscan on the track. Nice, the multi synth stylings of Rick Wakeman, and yes, there, that's uh, yours is no disgrace, but is this? Surprisingly tidy round Chicago, but here comes the real test. It's the hammerhead. Will it understeer? Will it oversteer? Or simply fail to steer at all? Uh, the back end's trying to break loose. Not on Stig's watch. Okay, down to the follow through. That looks fast. Also rather hairy. There's only two more corners to go. To second to last corner. He can't afford to lose it now. Right on the edge into Gambon and across the line. And now it's the Weissman. Off he goes with some precise German wheel spin. Can't help thinking the Stig will have an easier time here, but will it be a quicker time? He's looking controlled in the first corner. A bit of squeal from those very, very low profile tyres. To Chicago TBR was good here in the Weissman. Even better, actually, just a little hip wiggle on the way out. Hammerhead looking fast on the way in, nose starts to run wide. Stig cancels it out with lovely controlled slide. Oh, that is beautiful. Now, follow through, keeping the power on, looking good. Over the first half, the TBR is faster, but the Weissman's in really good shape for a sprint to the end. Can Germany beat Russia to become the fastest Britain? He's keeping it neat now, coming up to Gambon. Very neat still, and across the line. Times. I have the times. Share them. Share them. The Weissman went round in one minute, twenty-seven point nine, which hey, puts it there. That's pretty quick. It's well, it's the same as the TVR three fifty C, all but Meh. TVR Tuscan two. 124.8. It's all the way up here. Same yeah, as it's... an AOF. <laughs> That's quick. That is a fast car. That is... That's very quick. That is very quick.